Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a quick and simple guide on how to defeat the stump snail. The first and most important step of defeating the stump snail is to make sure all your bees are at least level 8 because otherwise you're going to be missing a lot of your shots because stump snail is level 6 I'm pretty sure and if your bees are level 8 you'll be hitting like 95% of shots so make sure your bees are level 8 before you attempt this and another important thing is to have at least two rage bees in your hive and as you can see my rage bee has an attack mutation it is level 12 and my other rage bee right here with an energy mutation so it is very important that you have a couple rage bees and vicious bee is like the most important thing for doing this and i and try try to level up your vicious bee as much as possible because as you can see my vicious bee is level 15 with an attack mutation and my entire and the rest of my hive is only level 12 and 13. so and why you want to level up your vicious bee as much as you can is because every level up there's a new you will get an extra spike for his ability, which is very important for defeating the stump snail. Considering the stump snail has 30 million HP, you cannot take it down fast, and it's it's mostly a matter of time. So as you can see here, my stump snail is almost halfway down, and I am doing somewhere around, as you can see, my bees do around 500 to 1000 damage per second, and my hive is full level. 12 and my vicious bee is level 15 so yeah i just wanted to mention that auto clickers are really handy and very useful for a situation like this where you have to take down a mob that has so much hp so i will usually just set up my auto clicker to click once every 10 or 15 minutes and then i'll be fine i can afk for hours and then it will take down some hp so yeah it's very useful make sure you do not use stingers stingers are a waste on that well, if this video helped you, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.